For more, we're joined by Louis Bernard of security consultants Chrysotech. Hello. Thank you for being with us here on France 24. Of course. Uh, the, just want to go over a point in, in this expose by uh, French broadsheet Le Figaro. Uh, Le Figaro reporting intelligence services have established, quote, several hundred targets were engaged in a rather advanced state of compromise. Several hundred targets were more or less compromised by the Chinese. Are you surprised? Uh, I am a little bit surprised about the number of uh, those who have been compromised, but when you think about it, maybe 4,000 to 5,000 people were approached. Let's say half of them do uh, uh, accept those uh, fake profiles as, as friends, and then uh, maybe 20% of them uh, accept to speak at, at a conference, and maybe 10% of them are approached when they, uh, they come back, and uh, you end up with uh, several uh, hundreds of them actually being compromised. Being compromised doesn't mean that they they all are selling, you know, sending secrets to, to Beijing. But they've all turned. They, they've all, yeah, exactly. They have more or less been asked to uh, write stuff or to provide uh, critical information of uh, their place of work or the ministries they're working in or the industries they are working in to uh, Beijing uh, through that scheme, which, which is massive. So us lay people from the general public, um, when we get fooled into uh, giving all our personal data to... Uh, uh, to third parties, uh, we think that somehow, because, you know, from watching James Bond movies, mm. that people in the intelligence uh, uh, business are smarter than all that and wouldn't get fooled. And, and indeed, they are fooled. Let's say, for example, you receive a, a, a friend request on LinkedIn from somebody whose, whose field of work is uh, similar to yours or is uh, of interest uh, to yours. Uh, let's say you don't accept uh, fully to uh, get invited in China because maybe that's, uh, uh, that's a little bit fishy. But just the fact that you have, you've accepted this profile as a friend, when this profile is approaching somebody else, you can say, look, the number of friends I have, which gives... Uh, solidity to that profile. So in a way, we are helping that guy, that, that fake person, getting more, more solidity in their profile, in their cover, in a, in a way. And, and uh, the Le Figaro's reporting saying that uh, basically they sent out the same message to lots of people. Oh yes, the, the amount of engineering in order to start the process is massive. So what they did is that they sent the same me message through, through a boat, through a robot to a lot of people. And only when one uh, uh, is actually answering and is actually uh, you know, uh, befriending that person online, does a real officer then get online and try to uh, uh, ask for more information. This, this idea of sending a real CV when and more or less all what you need to know about the person is uh, on uh, on LinkedIn is to have uh, access to emails, access uh, to uh, phone numbers in order to, to start digging more. And sources tell the Figaro that um, UK intelligence warned the French years ago. Has there been a failure on the part of the French services? Should they have warned their employees sooner? Uh, no, I would say that the French uh, security services has, has uh, warned the, the French public and the civil servants for years, okay? And, and this, uh, of course, this happened, but uh, the, they, they have been on the lookout for the, those kind of attacks for, for years. What is new on the part of the French government, of the French security services right now, is to actually go public on uh, precise names of uh, fake or screen uh, organizations and names of companies that they, they think uh, are fake and our ways to gain information so that people read it in the papers and uh, in order to, to, to be a better one uh, online. But the, the, uh, the, the French security services have done a lot in order to prevent that for over the years. Because for years we've seen criticism of the French services for not keeping up with the times uh, when it comes uh, to, um, how would you say, digital spying in all mm -hmm. its forms. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I think they kept up with the with the, uh, the the times because they're using it as well. So everybody is using it. Mm. Well, what is uh, unprecedented in in, in that uh, in in that uh, uh, is the, the the scale, the amount of people that was targeted in the last wave uh, of of targeting. But first, everybody does does it in order to gain access to uh, to foreign uh, intelligence or information. Uh, but uh, and the French are doing it as well. But this is this is bigger. This is this is more massive. And you. you you could you could 
you could think that somebody is a bit uh, uh, stupid to accept to go to China and spend a week on on a beach and give maybe one lecture and then being surprised of being approached when when they they come back. But you you'd be surprised how easily it's done. You know, hint by hint uh, to to get uh, trapped and and uh, and and you have uh, people who are, who are uh, you know in need of uh, a little bit uh, extra cash or they want to uh, uh, quit the, the uh, government job in order to go into uh, uh, into the private tech sector and or recognition accept- in the workplace. You mean, exactly, it's easy Absolute. to flatter people who are, yeah, feel so they're not appreciated at the at absolutely. The office. Let's say let's say your 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 work involves doing a little, a little bit of conferencing, maybe in the south of France, maybe in Italy, and now you are doing a conference in Beijing. It it looks nice on your CV, but of course that was a fake uh, conference. Now this uh, story in the Figaro comes hot on the heels of the one that was published a few weeks back by Bloomberg. Yes talking about microchips uh, that were put in all, all the cell phones, in uh, computers. We've seen then the denials by the likes of Apple and Amazon. Uh, is there a, a problem that's specific to China? Or is this just, as you said, something that everybody's doing? Uh, spying is done by everybody who can. That's that's the basis of it. Okay, all the countries who can spy do spy. the The difference with China is that it's so massive and and I would say very innovative in the, in the ways uh, the spying is done, uh, especially through uh, through manufacturing and all this. But again, everybody spies on everyone. That's that's normal practice. That's uh, it's only when they get caught that they they say that they don't. But uh, you remember here, I came here talking about the U.S. who are apparently uh, um, tapping uh, former President François Hollande's phone a few years ago. Everybody does it. All right. Louis Bernard, I want to thank you for joining us. Leo, Louis Bernard of uh, the uh, security consultants, uh, Chrysotech.